two of the top Eastern Conference contenders square off for the fourth and final time in the regular season when the Toronto Raptors host the Boston Celtics on Tuesday. Home court has been the difference in this matchup with the Celtics winning uncovering the two games in Boston, while the Raptors also protected home court with a 113-101 win on October. 19 as three-point faves, we break down the best ways to wager this clash of Atlantic Division Titans. Boston Celtics vs. Toronto Raptors minus 4, 225.5 Quick hitter The Celtics and Raptors have combined to score an average of just over 55 points in the opening quarter of their three meetings, so it's very appropriate that odds makers set the total for Tuesday's matchup at 55.5. The Raptors average 27.9 first quarter points per game at home, while the Celtics score 26.9 per game on the road, which is just middle of the pack. On the defensive side, Raptors and Celtics rank third and fifth respectively in opponent points per first quarter. With both teams struggling terms of shooting percentage, expect the defensive intensity to pick up the slack, especially early on. Prediction, under 55.5 first half bet when it comes to first half scoring, the Raptors and Celtics sit in the middle of the pack, with Toronto ranking 12th at 57 per game, while Boston ranks 19th at 55.5. They also rank 5th and 6th in first half margins with Boston at 2.8 and Toronto at 2.7, but the Seas get off to much better starts at home than on the road. The season an impressive 5.7 first half margin at TD Garden, but that number drops all the way to minus 0.4 when away from the comforts of home. And the crowd at Scotiabank Arena can make visiting teams very uncomfortable, where the Raps enjoy a 3.7 first half margin. The Celtics have gone into the break with a lead in all three matchups this season, but for most the most part have been close. And if you can look at the Raptors' loss to the Magic like we do, as an obvious letdown spot, they've been the team playing the better basketball. Prediction, first half spread, Raptors minus two team, player prop Kyrie Irving has been a thorn in the side of the Raptors going back to his days with the Cavs and this year has been no different. Irving is averaging 30.3 points against the Raptors this season, including a season-high 43 and a 123 to 116 overtime win on November. 16 His season average is 23.8 points per, while adding 6.9 assists and 4.8 rebounds per contest. That alone almost brings him to his player points, assists and rebounds total. So, if he does what he normally does against the Raptors, he should easily eclipse this number. Prediction, Kyrie Irving points, assists. However, the November meeting required overtime, so that inflates the average total points per game slightly, which is 226. Unsurprisingly, tonight's total sits at 226.5. That is the highest total this matchup has seen this season. The first game saw 214 total points scored. The second saw 214 total points scored prior to overtime. And the third, the highest scoring not including overtime, had 225. All those fall under tonight's total. The Celtics rank 5th in defensive efficiency. The Raps rank 6th. Both are top 10 in opponent points per game and shooting percentage and Toronto's defense will improve as they continue to implement newly acquired Marcus All. Ender is also 7-2-1 in the Celtics' last eight road games and 8-3 in the Raptors' last 11 versus a team with a winning Sioux record. This game will have a playoff atmosphere and will be played as such. Prediction, under 226.5 The Celtics were the preseason favorite to win the Atlantic Division, but it's the Raptors who head into this matchup with a 6.5 game lead over them. In fact, the Celtics sit third, a game behind the Sixers. So, if they any hope of winning another division title, they'll need a win tonight. But that is easier said than done. As mentioned before, the home team has dominated this matchup going 3-0 Sioux, ATS this season ANS 23-9 ATS in the last 32 meetings overall. 
take matters worse, the Celtics are actually 0-7 ATS in their last seven trips to Toronto. Toronto just seems like the more cohesive unit right now. They won eight in row before an almost expected defeat in Orlando Sunday. Kawhi Leonard didn't play and it was sandwiched between the emotionally charged return of DeMar DeRozan to Toronto in this matchup. While the Celtics have lost four of their last six, three of those losses came as 9.5 point favorites or greater. The Raps sent their hopes of a division crown tonight. Prediction, Raptors minus 3.5 Interested in learning more about legalized sports betting in the USA? Check out our Anywhere to Bet section.